Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this fun and unique weaved nail art. You can go bold and wear this print on all of your nails, or you can also just wear it as an accent nail. So let's start by using a base coat and then painting our nails one coat of white. Next, choose three bright colors and paint them across a makeup sponge. I like using porous makeup sponges more than the smooth latex ones because I find that they give a better finished result. Sponge the polish over your dried white nails. Allow that to dry for around 30 seconds and then sponge once more to make the colors pop. Blend and smooth out the colors with either a fine glitter polish or a top coat. Use a black striper to paint a diagonal line across your nail. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the brush still and rotating the finger you're working on. Now paint a diagonal line going in the opposite direction. Now for the top section of your nail, paint some lines coming down from your cuticle. Try keeping the spacing between the lines as uniform as possible as this gives a cleaner look. For the middle section, paint a couple lines parallel to the very first line you painted. And finally, in the last section, paint a line parallel to the second line you painted in the beginning. Then clean up around your nails with a cotton bud dipped into polish remover. Then seal in your design with a generous amount of top coat so you can glide it across the black lines without smudging them. I hope you give this a try and have fun rocking this bold print. Please subscribe for new weekly videos and I'll see you next time. Hey guys! In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a really fun and colorful nail art design inspired by Lego blocks, but get this you guys, they're 3D. So let's get this cute polished design started. The first thing you will need is some tiny rhinestones. You can find these at beauty supply stores and craft stores. The color of them doesn't matter, but the lighter the color, the easier they'll be to cover with polish. Lay some of the gems onto paper and then cover them with the color you'll be using for the Lego block. Then while you're giving that about 10 minutes to dry, begin your manicure with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails using one coat of polish and let it dry. Add a second coat and without giving it time to dry, add some of the polish onto the tip of a toothpick to help you pick up the gems. And for the fun part, lightly press the gem into your wet polish. Continue to add gems over the nail to mimic a Lego block. You can gently move the gems around to line them up if you work quick enough. Don't worry about any excess polish on the sides of the gems because the top coat will melt that into the base polish. Finally, seal it all in with a fast drying top coat. This will also smooth out any of the bumpy areas. Try to avoid the tops of the gems while doing this for best results. And that's it! If you decide to give this design a try, then please show me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more nail art videos. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! I had a lot of requests for a spring design, so today's video will show you how to combine pearls and pastels to create a really cute and simple manicure that's perfect for spring. In this video, I will be using nail art pearls. I purchased mine on eBay for 99 cents. You can also find them in beauty supply stores and maybe even something similar from a craft store. The pearls come in many different sizes. For this tutorial, I chose to use the medium-sized ones. So here's what they look like individually. Let's get this cute polish design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails a sheer pink. Use a pastel color to paint the top half of your nail.
Then use a white striper to create some vertical stripes. Next, apply a top coat over your nail. Quickly press a line of pearls across your nail. If you're wondering how I'm picking up the pearls with my toothpick, it's because I use magical toothpicks. No, seriously, they're magic. JK, I dip the toothpick in clear polish first. Finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and stop those pearls from falling off. And that's it! I hope this video inspired you to try out nail art pearls for spring. Also, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for subscribing. There are over a million of you subscribed to my channel now. I'm so happy to be able to share nail art with so many people. Take care and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, St. Patrick's Day is almost here and in today's video I have a mini guide for you on 5 festive and fun nail art designs to help you celebrate. You can choose to mix and match a few of these designs or you could wear all 5. So let's begin with the leprechaun's hat. Begin by painting your nail green. Next, use a black striper to draw two horizontal lines near the tip of the nail. The easiest way to do this is by keeping your brush still and slowly rotating your finger. Then fill it in. Use a gold striper to add the buckle. To do this, draw two short vertical lines and then connect two short horizontal ones. Finish off with the top coat. Ever been to the end of the rainbow? A pot of gold is said to be waiting there for you. Sadly, not the box of chocolates. Begin by painting your nail white. Next, use some rainbow colored stripers to carefully draw slightly curved lines starting at the edge of your nail and ending at the tip. Then paint the very tip of your nail black for the pot. For the gold, I'll be using some of these little hexagon glitter. Paint the area that you'd like to place the gold with some clear polish. Quickly use a toothpick to add in the gold. You could also use a chunky gold glitter nail polish for this. Just build up a few coats of it and you're done. Finish off with a fast drying top coat. Our next design is a lucky four leaf clover. Begin by painting your nail a light green. Next, use a big dotting tool and a dark green polish to create three big hearts. To do this, press the dotting tool gently on the nail and drag it downwards. Then connect a second dot. Remember to leave a little space between the hearts. Finish the clover by adding a stem with a striper. Seal in your good luck with a top coat. Next up is some green plaid. Begin by painting your nail a light green. Next, use a white striper to create a tic-tac-toe board. So, two vertical lines and two horizontal ones. Once that's done, add in two vertical dark green lines next to the white ones. And then two or three horizontal ones after the white ones, depending on the length of your nails. Finally, add two glittery gold vertical lines before the white ones, and then two or three horizontal ones before the green ones. <laughs> that's a lot of lines. Add a beautiful shine to this design with a top coat. Our final design is the flag of Ireland. Shout out to all my Irish viewers! Begin by painting your nail white. Next, use an orange striper to draw a vertical line separating one third of your nail. Use the striper to fill it in. Next, use a green striper to separate another one third of the nail. Again, fill it in. Finish your flag with a fast drying top coat. And that's it! Five fun designs for St. Patrick's Day! Don't forget to show me your recreations using the hashtag CutePolish and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more nail art videos. Take care, and I'll see you next time! As you know, the weather outside is getting colder, and with colder weather comes drier skin. So today, I wanted to show you a quick and easy DIY that will keep your hands soft and moist throughout the year. One of the best things about this amazing scrub is that you'll only need three ingredients to make it. The first ingredient is lemon juice, which is packed full of vitamin C and citric acid that will help brighten the skin, fade away scars and age spots, and also remove dead skin. You can press your own lemon juice from a lemon, or you could use already bottled lemon juice. 
Next, you will need extra virgin olive oil, which works wonders for the skin. It will soften cracks in the skin, protect it from premature wrinkles, and finally keep your skin full of moisture. The last ingredient is white sugar. White sugar is a humectant that helps your skin retain moisture. Also, the gritty texture of the sugar crystals works as a great exfoliant. So first, you will need to measure 3 quarters of a cup of white sugar and pour it into a container. Next, pour in a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And finally, one tablespoon of lemon juice. You can, of course, alter these numbers to make more or less. However, you need to keep the proportions the same. Then, mix it all together. Make sure your container has a lid so that you can store your new hand scrub. These also make great gifts, so if you're interested in gifting a bottle to a friend, make sure that you fill the container up to the very top, add a label that you can make and print from your computer, and of course, a cute ribbon. So now that you've made the product, here's how to use it. First, scoop out a small amount from the container. Then, gently massage the scrub into your hands over a sink. Next, rinse it off. Dry your hands with a towel and you will be left with silky smooth hands that are moisturized. You won't even need to use a hand cream after this. And that's it! If you guys decide to try this out, send me a photo using the hashtag CutePolish and let me know what you think of it. Take care and I'll see you next time! Why hello there Mr. Fuzzy Caterpillar. I bet you wish you were as soft as my hands. <laughs> hey guys! Today's nail art tutorial is based on Winnie the Pooh. The lovable bear who's stuffed with fluff. In this video, I'll show you how to recreate this adorable design in just a few easy steps. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off with a base coat and then begin painting your nail yellow starting two-thirds of the way down your nail. Mimic the shape of your cuticle while doing this. Add a second coat if needed to get it opaque. Use a big dotting tool to create his ears. Next, I'm going in with a smaller dotting tool just to make sure that his ears are connected to his head. Use a small dotting tool to create his eyes near the tip of your nail. And then an even smaller dotting tool or toothpick to create his nose. Use a black striper and draw a thin curved line above his nose to create a snout. Then add thin short lines high up on his head for his eyebrows. I'm adding his second eyebrow a little higher than the first to give him a cute expression. For the rest of your nails, slowly rotate them and add a red French tip. You could also use tape to help you create perfect tips. Add little yellow dots above the red tips with a dotting tool or a toothpick. Finish off all of your nails with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! Please share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Take care, and I'll see you next time! In today's highly requested video, I'll be sharing my nail care routine. Here you will learn my tips and tricks to soft hands and strong nails. Let's begin with nail polish removal. Unless I'm trying to remove some tough glitter polish, I like to use an acetone-free remover. This is because these formulas are much gentler on your nails and they do not strip them of their moisture. This keeps your nails stronger and prevents breakage. Acetone-free formulas take a little longer to remove the polish, but their advantages are well worth the wait. Moving on to nail filing. I love to use a crystal nail file on my nails. These special files do not promote chipping and peeling like other nail files can. They're gentle on your nails and they leave a silky smooth finish. When filing, always go in one direction. This will give best results. Cuticle Care. Here I will be sharing my number one favorite product for nail care. It's the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I absolutely love this stuff and I own a bunch of them. I have one in the car, by my bed, in my coat pocket, in my purse. I seriously have them everywhere. The reason for this is that they smooth and soften my cuticles and the moisture prevents my nails from snapping off, especially in the winter. All you have to do is massage it into your cuticles and your nails. You can do this with or without polish. 
So I soften my cuticles daily, but I like to push back the cuticles about once a week. I'm not a fan of cutting cuticles, and I find this method works great for me. Again, once they're softened, I like to gently use the tool to push them back for a clean look. I like to show my hands some love too. My favorite hand cream is currently Opie's Avo Juice. These come in a bunch of different scents and bottle sizes. Here's the travel sized one and I like to carry it in my purse. I also have a bigger sized one next to my sink for after I wash my hands. This cream is light but it provides a lot of moisture, leaving your hands silky smooth. It also absorbs into the skin faster than any other hand cream I've tried. I really love this stuff. And now that we're on the topic of hand care, I guess it's a good time to mention that I always wear rubber gloves when cleaning. This prevents my hands and nails from being stripped of moisture and it can also prevent breaking a nail. Oh, the horror. Next up, removing nail polish stains. Have your nails ever been stained yellow from polish? First, try lightly buffing them. This usually works unless they're really stained. If that's the case, my favorite product to use is Bubble White from Sally's Beauty Supply. Simply scoop some of the crystals into a small bowl of water. Then place your nails in to be deep cleaned. You can place both hands into the water at the same time. I just did one for this demo. Also, my nails aren't even stained right now, so you won't see much of a difference. But honestly, this stuff works better than any other product I've tried. And finally, my not-so-secret trick to preventing breakage and staining, a base coat. I always apply a base coat to protect my natural nails before I start painting them. One of my favorites is Sally Hansen's Diamond Strength. And that's it! Hopefully some of these tips helped you out. Let me know in the comments any requests you have for upcoming videos. Take care and I'll see you next time! <gasps> no! How to avoid smudging your nail art one of my most frequently asked questions, and today I'll be sharing my tips and tricks with you. First, you'll want to wait around 2 minutes between each layer of polish that you apply. This will help avoid smudging from occurring during the nail art creation process. Once your nail design is finished, it's very important to wait as long as you can before applying the top coat. 30 minutes is your target goal for this, so now's a great time to read a book, watch some YouTube videos, or text a few friends. However, if you just simply don't have the time to spare before leaving your house, I would wait at least a minimum of 10 minutes and then apply the top coat. Always use a fast drying top coat over your nail art. This is because the fast drying formulas do a great job of penetrating through those extra layers of polish to fully dry them. When applying the top coat, always wipe one side of the brush off as you take it out of the bottle. Then flip it around and dab the huge glob once to remove a little. And now you're left with the perfect generous amount of top coat. Here is the most important tip. Glide the generous amount of top coat lightly over the nail. You don't want the brush to touch the nail because that will drag the top layer of polish causing smudging. So again, just lightly glide the top coat over the nail so only the top coat touches, not the brush. Only use three strokes and do them quickly. If you followed all these tips and your nail art design still smudges, then your top coat is most likely the culprit. Not all top coats are made equally. My current favorite is Essie's Good To Go Top Coat. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you've learned a few new tips and tricks for applying your top coat that will help you avoid smudging your little works of art. Take care and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, today I have a really fun video. It's a super easy design that's amazing for the spring and summer. The rainbow colors are just so fun and bright, it really makes this cute design pop on your nails. So let's get this cute polished design started. You're going to start off with a base coat, of course, to protect your natural nails. I've already applied mine, so I've moved on to the second step, which is painting your nails white. Next, you're going to need a dotting tool and a toothpick. If you don't have a dotting tool, I have a video linked in the description box below for you that shows you other items you could use to create different size dots. So essentially what we're trying to achieve here guys is a rainbow gradient using only dots. You'll want to start with the purple and make a line of dots going across the nail. It's best to use different size dots because it really adds to the design making it more intricate and interesting to look at. So you continue on repeating this process with each new color. Try and keep the spacing similar between all of the dots so it looks clean and neat. 
When doing this design on all of my nails, I like to dot the purple over all my nails first and then move on to the blue, green, etc. This helps to save time during your manicure. So once you're finished your cute and colorful dots, you'll want to finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this simple yet fun nail art design. Please share your recreations with me and let me know in the comments below if you have any design requests. Take care and I'll see you next time. Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an amazing marbled manicure without having to use the traditional water in a cup method. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint on your base color a little thicker than usual. You don't want it to be too thick, just a little. Add a few blobs of two different colors over the wet nail. You don't want these blobs to be too big because you want the nail to dry easily. Use the amount I've used as a guideline. Now here comes the fun part. Use a toothpick to gently swirl the colors together while they're still wet. I find that five to eight swirls usually works best. Once you're satisfied with your little work of art, wait one minute and then apply a fast drying top coat over the design. Even though it may seem like a lot of polish, my nails were completely dried in about five to 10 minutes. And that's it. I hope you found this technique for creating marbled nails helpful. There are so many unique designs and color combinations that you could use for this design. If you decide to give it a try, please share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bright rainbow colors, lovely hearts, and fun leopard spots. Today's tutorial will show you a quick and easy design that will make your nails pop. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails with a lighter pastel shade of the one you plan on using for the hearts. To easily create perfect hearts, dip your dotting tool or toothpick into the polish. Then drag the color diagonally on the nail. Dip the dotting tool back in again, and finish the heart by dragging the tool in the opposite direction. Continue painting hearts over your nail. Three or four will look best. Then use a toothpick dipped in black polish to partially outline the hearts to make them look similar to leopard spots. I like to make sure that the top and the bottom of the heart are outlined so that the heart shape is obvious. Don't worry about it looking perfect. This nail art is doodle inspired so you want it to look homemade. Finally, add little black spots in open areas. Once your nails are finished, give them ample time to dry. Black polish smudge is the easiest, so we don't want to ruin our new mani. Now that the polish has dried, add a top coat to seal in the design. Here, I've chosen to use a matte top coat because it will make the nails pop even more and add to the cartoon look. And that's it! If you decide to give this design a try, please show me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time!